He's got a pink band on his left leg. Come here. He's not scared of me. That's a hole. Yeah! <laughs> what up, guys, and welcome back to another one. As you can tell, we're here at the truck stop. And uh, the trapping, the trapping has, the trapping has became a lot harder due to, like I said, it was probably, I don't know, a handful of videos ago. Wheat got cut, what, what's it been like, I don't know, two, three weeks ago. All that wheat seed needing to be transported around the state in elevator to elevator to elevator. And uh, that is what this trucking company actually specializes in is grain transportation. That's why most of uh, the trailers that you see here are hopper bottom trailers. Long story short, there is wheat all over the parking lot. Yeah. So one, we lost some birds out of the old truck stop parking lot. One due to the wheat getting cut and the birds actually eating in the field. We've been able to do some pigeon hunts because of that. But not only losing birds here at the truck stop, it's became harder because the feed is more widespread throughout the parking lot, especially underneath the hopper bottom trailers where they park them. Check it out. See them out under there? Uh-huh, they're just getting at it. They don't know I'm over here. And sitting here, I actually have a pretty slick idea. See what they're feeding on right now is a big old pile of wheat check it out Let's see if we can get close enough where we don't scare them right here oh we scared them oh well but see that big pile of wheat right there that's what they've been munching on and there's a bunch of them underneath all these trailers what if i hid underneath the trailer which would cover me up better you know what i mean uh-huh and a either netted them or b had a bigger net that i was able to control really close I'm really thinking about trying to net them, boys. If you guys think I should, drop a comment down below. Um, we're gonna let this video run one more day. Tomorrow I'm gonna try to trap them. I'm probably gonna move the trap over here or, yeah, do some movement because they don't wanna be where the traps are. That's the problem right now. They, they don't wanna be, they know it's not safe. They know there's feed elsewhere throughout the parking lot. So, that's what this video might turn into. Holy smokes. What I do know is, is that it is 97 degrees out. Humidity is up there. If y'all are ready for hunting season, please <laughs> give me an amen down below. Hmm. Check that out. I just lifted the trap up and this fell off, which is the tie that keeps the lid down. That only tells me one thing. Someone's been letting some birds out because I always retie it. Huh. And I'm here every day to check it, like on a schedule. It's crazy, so, hmm. Well, darn. <laughs> huh. That makes me wonder. But I guess we're just gonna leave it here. I don't know. I think I'm gonna pull it for a minute. Yeah, let's pull it. We're gonna leave that wheat pile there exposed. Let the birds see it, get used to it again, and then put the trap back over there on it, but wonder why it was untied like that. I always retie my traps. Let's check, let's check this one here. Uh, this one's, that one's still tied. It hasn't been tampered with. Hmm, that makes me wonder. Haven't been trapping any lately. Huh, that's odd. Been wondering why we haven't had any in the trap lately. I'm like, there's not as many birds here, but they still, you know, go around it when I'm watching them. Huh. Think some funky business has been going on here, fellas. Huh. I don't like that. It makes me all kinds of unsure about things. Hmm. So, I got an idea. I retied it, and instead of pulling it off to let the pigeons get used to it, I tied it really tight. So that's a really tight knot. You know what I mean? It's gonna take you some time to untie it. I'm gonna put it back out there. I'm going to check it again today. I'm going to check it tomorrow early in the morning and see if it's been tampered with again. It is still tied in a really good knot. <sighs> so, long story short, guys, uh, with how much traffic, how many people go in and out of this truck stop, and how many people know where this is in my own town, because we do have some haters out there. 
<laughs> Shout out to y'all. Uh, I knew that the traps were going to get tampered with eventually when people found out where they were. And even some truckers. There might have been a bird in there, you know, for 10, 15, 20 minutes that I didn't get to. And uh, the trucker might have went over there. He might have had a big heart and said, you know what, I can't do it. I got to let him out. So, neither here or there. Who knows? Mm -hmm. I gotta check something out here. There's a pigeon just sitting under here. Underneath this trailer all by himself. I don't know if it's wounded or what happened. Let's see if we can grab it. Probably not. It's a baby. Oh, he's a baby. He don't want to fly very far. Wonder, I don't know if I can get him. He's pretty too. Holy smokes. Oh, he's banded. Oh, is that my bird? No, that's a banded bird. Oh, he's got a pink band on his left leg. Check him out. He's got a pink band on his left leg. Come here. He's not scared of me. That's a whole... Oh! About had him, he just landed up there. That's a homer. That's a banded homer. Are you serious? There he is. He is a banded homer. I can tell he's a homer by his head, the slant of his head. Oh, oh my goodness. I was that close to snatching that bird out of the air. I hope the camera caught it. It literally flew up right at my face. I was like, ooh, and I went and lunged at it. My, my hand, like, my hand missed by literally that much. His whole breast was right here. Ah. But he just landed on top of the building over there. That was wild. He was sitting there, he was just laying there, and I'm like, man, he might be a wounded bird, you know what I mean? Got up there, he let me get extremely close, about caught him on the ground, noticed the band, I'm like, oh, he's banding, and then I looked at the slant of his head, and he's a homer bird with a pink, like, clear band on his left leg. He's a race bird, that's a racing band. It's gotta be, because that, uh, that is not, a, that was not a clip-on band by no means. If only I would have caught that bird out of the air, that would have been epic. Or if I just would have had a net. I gotta go buy a net, y'all. I could have caught him. If I would have had a net. If I would have had a net, I would have got him. But he's by himself. He's the only bird here. And that might be the reason why he was a little more timid. And because he's a he's a loft. He's a homer bird. Band and all. I'm trying to think here. I need to go get a net. Because if he did that once, he's going to go back under that trailer, if not a different one. And we'll be able to come back and try to catch him again with a long net. That's, that's the plan. Well, we are hauling butt home. Uh, I want to get back there with the net before that homer leaves. That's insane. I was, when I walked up there, it was such a small slender neck. I thought it was a baby. And I'm like, man, that has beautiful colors. And then I looked at its foot. Sure enough, a clear pink band up. I want to get back there uh, before he leaves today. So I'm hauling butt home. I'm going to grab the pool net. I don't have to go buy one. I, I just, it dawned on me. I'm like, Bob, you have the pool net. It's a really long, long handled net. I'm just going to grab it. It's going to be a lot faster rather than going to the store, picking a net out, paying money. No, we're just going to use the pool net. <laughs> ah. But we got to get back there in a hurry before that bird leaves. That was, uh, that was wild. I was thinking that he was so tame because it was just a juvenile bird. No, that's a banded homer. He's just a tamed loft pigeon. Well, we're back here with the net and check it out. I don't know if you'll be able to see him. Right there, he's still sitting up on the roof, right on the corner. He is a beautiful pied bird, a pied homer. I can tell he's a homer, his head has homer written all over it. We scared him up there now, we gotta wait for him to come down, 
because he's sitting in the sun right now. That's why he was originally underneath those trailers over there being so comfy. It's because he was in the shade. He's sitting in the beaten sun now and it is hot. Right now it's like 98 degrees with a ton of humidity. He's gonna have to get off that roof some at some point here. All right, the banded uh, Homer has been up on the same spot of the roof over there. He's been up there for well over an hour, so I got a slick idea here. Over here by uh, the traps, I put a couple decoys. See if I can draw him off of that roof because he's on perch. He doesn't want to get down. He hasn't went back to the trailers yet. I probably freaked him out by trying to catch him. I put the decoys out there. We should know real fast if those decoys work or not. Hopefully they get his attention. Hopefully he goes and lands with them. And then hopefully, hopefully, if it went like that, and if we actually netted him, that'd be that'd be pretty insane. But I'm trying to draw him off the roof so we can catch him. All right, I got you on the GoPro. It's already three o'clock, and that pigeon is still that banded homer still up on top of the building. It's only one thing to do now because we have other pigeons that are here. We got more pigeons here. I'm thinking use the pole. Hopefully, I don't make the people mad here, but. There he goes. Well, he took off. Almost had him. Man, this pole is really long. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, hopefully he goes and lands with the other ones here. I don't know. I'm going to try to get him again. Yeah, he's walking back on the roof now. Let's see if we can get him this banded home or I want so bad I can taste it. Oh, I about had him. That was close. <laughs> that was really, really, really close. Oh man, that was like within a foot. <laughs> oh, that was fun. We're gonna get that homer. That homer isn't leaving, but what I do know, I literally pretty much just watched this happen across the, across the parking lot, all of the pigeons came over here and landed by the traps check it out yep he literally just got trapped like literally one minute ago let me help you bud yeah this is uh that was awesome i looked over i knew that all the pigeons were over here all the normal feral pigeons like this guy right here and uh, all of a sudden they all got up at once and i'm like uh oh i bet it was a spring trap <laughs> we got him no band on him though he's just a normal feral oh oh where'd he go yep he's landed okay our homer is on the ground y'all so i'm gonna take our feral pigeon that we just caught because i don't want to leave him in this bucket he will die if i leave him in there and go try to catch this this homer i'm gonna put him in this here trap just like before he was a bait bird i think it'll work There we go. Hopefully, it'll be all right. A lot better than this bucket for the time being. And he might attract some other birds. So, we're gonna go try to catch this homer. I'm gonna put the GoPro back on here. I just picked up our decoys that we had over here. Gonna see if our new feral that we just caught can do some work. This is an insane video, y'all. If you guys enjoy this video right now, give your boy a big old thumbs up right now. I am hoping that we can go catch this homer. Alrighty guys, I got you on the GoPro. I gotta put these old Crocs in four wheel drive now. Cause we might have to do some running. <laughs> I am, I'm gonna have to be really, really quiet. I'm not gonna talk much. Enjoy the show. Hopefully we can get it done. I'm gonna go behind all these trailers and try to sneak up on them. I don't know how well it's gonna work. I'm really hoping we can get this bird. This is insane. I've never trapped or caught 
a, uh, a homer, a banded homer. I've only shot them. I'd love to have them in the loft. There he is. He's right there. Oh, I just got a sticker in my crock. Darn it, I didn't even get a shot at him. Where'd he go? Ah. Uh, oh, he's all the way over there now. Landing back up on the building. <laughs> oh, netting him is hard. Um, the only way to do it, guys, would be to uh, literally sit underneath one of these trailers and wait for Buddy over there on the uh, on the building to get off, fly over here, and hopefully land in front of you. That that just seems that seems a little far, you know what I mean? It seems a little far fetched. Man, how do I trap that guy? If y'all have a good suggestion how I get this dude, you gotta let me know down in the comments. But I'm gonna watch him some more here. If we get another another try here at catching him. I'll kick the camera on, but we're gonna have to get our uh, newly trapped pharaoh. I can see him in the trap way over there. He's still in there. We're gonna have to get him home back in the loft here before too long. Oh, I almost had him. Almost had him. Oh, 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 you little s sucker. Almost had him yet again. So close, but so far away. You know, it would be nice as if he would just go to the trap, see the other bird in the trap right now, and go in there and we get him like that. Over here on another trailer. I highly doubt I'm actually going to get him. This is way harder than it looks, y'all. If I had a better idea, I'd be doing it. You believe me. There he is. He's up on he's up on this trailer right here. Do not know where. Where'd he go? sucker dude golly I am serious this is not easy this son of a gun oh done flew off again not easy this is not easy y'all not easy at all no idea where he went now well I've been pushing him around so much he's I'm sure he's back up on the roof who knows? I don't see him. I probably.
probably could have cut one of them. Come over me. Nice little group there, but our uh, banded pigeons right on the other side of here. This pole's long enough, I could do some crazy stuff with it. But that guy is just weary. God, I want that bird so bad I can taste it. I am not kidding you, I want him bad. Oh man, how do I get him here? How do I get him? I think he just flew off. Sure did. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> People probably think I am absolutely insane. Like what in the world is that guy doing out there with a camera on his head? How you doing? Talking to himself. Just loving life, that's all. Living the best life out here, fellas. Well, I've tried to catch this dude many, many times now. He's on another trailer right here. He doesn't sit with all the feral birds. He's by himself all the time. He's at the front of this one. He's on this one at the end. Oh, he was right there. There he goes. There he goes. Ah, I'm going to get him one of these days. Well, we are here back at the house where our new friend here is about to meet his new roommates. Check him out. Now, you can tell I got him in pairs. I got this one in a pair, and I got this one in a pair, which these two are not getting along because they're both males which I'm pretty sure they're males, I think. They've been fighting like crazy. And a lot of you told me, hey, uh, you, need, you need to pair them up for breeding purposes, and that's what I've been doing. I've tr been trying to figure out which ones are males and females by pairing them up and see how they do together. If they fight nonstop, like the two white ones, they're probably males. So I'm trying to get that done before I make a video on it so I know what I'm doing, I know what birds we're pairing. So stay tuned for that video to come. But here we go, we're gonna get our new buddy out of here. Come here, new buddy. He is a squeaker. He is literally a young, young, young. You hear him? He is a squeaker. Young, young pigeon. But here he goes. There he goes. There you are, buddy. Yes, squeaker, you're a young one. That's the only one in here that isn't banned because he's brand new. But he'll be a good one uh, that we'll be able to take over to Dustin's, the big barn, and we'll be able to trade him in probably for another full white one because how it looks right now is that I have two, my two full white ones, I think they're both females. So I'm gonna need to get a male full white one. So be sticking around for that video, like I said, because we gotta get these pigeons paired up and breeding. I wanna, I wanna have some babies on the way. But I hope you guys are enjoying the pigeon videos. It seems like you guys are. You guys are always dropping awesome, awesome, positive comments down in the comment section below. I appreciate it so much. You guys have been loving the pigeon videos. I've been loving the loft, the new pigeons. Even though we lost one on the last video, stuff happens. We're gonna replace them with an all white one to come. But thank you all for being here yet again. Subscribe if you haven't and make sure you hit that notification little bell down there. It notifies you when your boy uploads. But till next time, peace. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it